Hi mates, today I'm reviewing Neon Racer Nigel Gearsley, another Neon Racer from the Cars 2 World Grand Prix Transcontinental Race of Champions collection. He was released in 2014 when the series made its debut, and he was also released in 2015. And he was released in those years as a single. And in 2015, he was released with the Daredevil Garage app logo. And that one was su super rare. The one with the mm, Daredevil Garage app logo. That one was very rare. And yeah, that was all for his releases. And he's not available in the 4-pack with... Raul, Shu, Miguel, and Lightning. And for his appearance on the Neon Racers book, he does appear in the Neon book. And I do have the 5 Minute Racing Story book, and it actually does have the Neon Racers right here. But there is the Neon Racers book, and it is a series called the Transcontinental Race of Champions, or T-Rock for short, and it's a series of races hosted by Lightning's International Racing Friends from the World Grand Prix in Cars 2, and Shu Tadabroki hosts the first race in Japan, and there's Nigel Gears, that's the regular version, and yeah, there's Shu Tadabroki and Neon Paint Job, and by the way, there are six different T-Rock races. Obviously, Shu hosts the Neon one. Vitaly Petrov hosts the Ice Racer race. Carlo Beloso hosts the Carnival race. Lightning hosts the Silver race. Matt Schnell hosts the Carbon race. And Raul Sarul hosts the race in... Which is a rally race. But that one was a comic only and it was a comic only series and there weren't any diecasts from there unfortunately and it would have been cool if there was so anyways let's go on to the next page and yeah there's Nigel Gearsley on this neon paint job just like his diecast counterpart and there are all the racers in their neon paint job including Vitaly and Frosty and there's a start line, and Nigel Gearsley appears in this page, where Francesco and most of the other racers headed down the mountain, while Lightning McQueen, Shu Todoroki, Vitaly Petrov, Lewis Hamilton, and Carlo Beloso went on to the top of the mountain, where the Climber's book is, and Lightning signed the book, and then they go down the mountain and Nigel Gearsley is one of the racers that went down the mountain on this way with Francesco, Max, Frosty, and Rip and possibly Raul, Miguel, and Jeff because they're not seen right here but maybe they're in the back of the field and then we go on the next page, and there's Nigel Gearsley again, and you can see that he has yellow lights under the car. And a lot of the, all the neon wrists will have different colors under the car, like Lightning has red, Francesco has green, Nigel has yellow, Frosty has blue, Rip Kuchgonski has yellow, right here Jeff has red Carla has green Matt Schnell has like purple lighting Vitaly Petrov has red lights under the car Raul has blue Lewis has yellow and there Nigel has green but on this page he has yellow and Shu obviously has red lights and their decals are neon the five. So here and this right here, you can see Lightning, Carla, Shu, Lewis, and Vitaly go down the mountain. And then there's 
Rip, Frosty, and Nigel coming this way. And on the next page, we see Lightning past Francesco on the outside. And there's the fans right here. And then there's the final page, well, the final appearance of Nigel Gearsley on the Neon book. There he is right here. And I don't know why he has blue eyebrows or blue eyelids. It's just very weird because he should have green eyelids. And yeah, he has like blue eyelids right here too. I don't know why, and they look so strange. It should be green, like on this one and this page. I don't know why the other two had him with blue eyebrows. And there's Frosty. And it looks like Nigel finished fifth place. Carlo finished first. Lightning finished second. Francesco got third. And, and Frosty got fourth. While Nigel Gearsley got fifth. And, yeah. And then the final page, Shoe, Prince, Shoe Todoroki presented Carlo with the Neon Racers Cup Trophy. And Carlo Beloso is the winner of the Neon Racers race. And, yeah, I really don't know why Mattel never made a Neon Racer Carlo Beloso diecast and a Neon Racer Francesco diecast. It makes no sense on why Mattel never did them because Francesco is a very well known and character in Cars 2 in the movie. And he was the main character in, in the film. And I don't know why they never did a Neon Racer diecast of them. And Carla, it, it doesn't make sense on why they didn't do her in the Neon Racers line for Mattel. And. It would have made a lot more sense because she's the winner of the book. And I don't know why they never did her as a diecast. And same with Francesco. Same with Jeff and Rip and Batali. But the other racers were lucky enough to have me on racer diecast. Like, here's McQueen, Raul, Frosty, who I actually hadn't reviewed yet. Max, Shu, Lewis, and Miguel. And those are the only racers that they did in the Neon Racer line. There was only eight. And I don't know why they didn't do the other five. And I really wish they did. Although, I, I'm not sure if they'll ever be released. I hope Mattel will bring back the T-Rock line and do the Rally Racers and... And, and even uncancel Silver Rip and do the last Neon Racers that they haven't done. Yeah, that would be really cool if they bring back the T-Rock line. So, yeah. But anyways, let's get on the review of Nigel Gearsley's Neon paint job. As you can see, he has this metallic green, and it's very similar... Mm -hmm. To the metallic Nigel Gearsley that was a Toys R Us exclusive back in the day. So, yeah. But anyways, he has red rims just like every other... Neon Racer. And he still has his World Grand Prix and all in all decals. And they are neon the fight, along with the U United Kingdom flag with the World Grand Prix emblem. He's number nine. He has a powered by all in all logo, which is neon the fight right here. He has the same expression as the regular Nigel, and the same happy expression. Same eyes, same mouth. He has orange around his grill and orange right here. He has the light green, like, hooks thing or whatever they are. And this is, like, around the headlight. And it's neon defied with green lights. He has a United Kingdom flag. And he has those, which have the triangle and the E, and I'm not sure what those are, but 
Yeah, those are on the regular version too. And he has green cyber mirrors. He has those three dots, and he has, I think that's a gas cap probably. He has a black stripe on the, on the bottom right here, where the online World War Pre logo is. And he also has the exhaust pipes. He has a black spoiler with the World Grand Prix logo, but in neon. And the back, he has the... And the bumper right here is black still. And this front bumper is still black. He has the Powered by All No logo. And he has some light up tail lights. And the United Kingdom flag, World Grand Prix, and the World Grand Prix emblem with the number 9. And he also has the base, Denny Pixar, China, Mattel, all of that stuff. And now let's get on to the comparison. So here is the normal, the normal version of Nigel Gearsley. And they look very similar. And here is the other Nigel Gear, so that's metallic, and that is the metallic exclusive Toys R Us Nigel Gear, so you know, was released a long time ago in 2012. And he had a very different metallic green. He had like an emerald metallic green, whereas here is a darker metallic green. And it's, it's very, very different. Also, they even made a Micro Drifters metallic Nigel and had this kind of metallic. It had this kind of metallic color, and it looked very similar. And it looked really cool looking. And yeah, that's all for today's video. And if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you on the review on the. Um, a Neon Racer Frosty review, so stay tuned for that. And that's all for this video, guys. So, anyways, guys, bye now, and I'll see you mates later.